All right, here we are with the highly anticipated round two of our freeze-dried meal taste test. This is the Peak Free Fuel Edition. It is not highly anticipated by us. <laughs> Just by people who wanna see. And by the way, we made, we got it backwards last time. We said, if you don't like them here, you're not gonna like them on the mountain. If they're decent here, they're gonna be amazing on the mountain. Oh. Like, this is just a Thursday here at the going office and we're grubbing. <laughs> but again, the best way to do this is to figure out how you feel tomorrow after right now. Yeah. Very good point. That is a good point. So, peak refuel. Here we go. Rules again. If you guys didn't see the other video, be sure to check it out. That was the Mountain House one. This is the peak refuel one. So, one or two spoonfuls each. Renzo, don't <laughs> Got it. Pound the whole bag. I didn't eat last time. Uh, one, two spoonfuls. Um, you know, let it sit in your mouth a little bit, taste it. That's what the palate tells you what the score should be. Drop the score, one through 10, we'll average them out, see who the winner is at the end. What, uh, so, can we, can we predict? Well, yeah, first I'll, I'll announce them out here okay. if you haven't seen it. So, chicken alfredo pasta. We have beef stroganoff, strawberry granola, chicken pesto pasta, and sweet pork and rice. So, predictions. I predict my least favorite is Lorenzo's favorite, the sweet pork. I've heard it's super sugary. It is. I haven't had it yet, though. It's definitely going to skew the results of this, but on the mountain, when everything is bland and you're like day seven and yeah. all you want is a good meal. Okay. It works. All right. I'll have I'm it in mind. Works. Now, I will tell you, I did have this in Wyoming a couple times, and it was amazing, the chicken pasta. Mine is always like beef stroganoff, <laughs> that creaminess. Okay, and when, once again, too, just want to, you know, we mentioned these are the top five selling peak refuels. These are not just ones we picked just for this video. So these are the, these are the ones that you all really love. Yes. Let's go. So, all right, jump into Where it. Chicken start? Alfredo pasta. Okay, we'll give Renzo his own. Do you want your own, Renzo? No, I do not want my own. Last time I didn't eat before, this time I did. Were these cooked better than Neville's? Yeah. Indoor Jill, did she? Indoor Jill, this is cooked pretty good. This is cooked pretty good. Um, one thing that is absolutely amazing is how the amount of water these things need. Yeah, it should be noted, it's a lot less. Way less. Most of them we had in Wyoming, it was like 5.3 ounces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's way less than Mountain House. Oh, wow. I really love these ones. Never had this one. The creamy sauce. That's good. That's super good. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I might go one more. I'm gonna go three spoonfuls. I'm gonna go eight. Solid. Pleasantly surprised. It's uh tastes pretty clean, it's light, very good. Copying quarter. Eight. One seven. It's just a solid. It is very solid. It's, it's actually is solid. Really flavorful. I don't it is hard to it is hard to grade the first one though, yeah. but this is, I mean, that was salt. It it was, I it also don't think surprised. it needs anything added to it. Like if you're up there like, oh, it needs pepper, it needs hot sauce. You, it's like you really could, good flavor right here. If I could add hot sauce to that, it'd be perfect. Yeah, that'd be really good. Oh, Brady's favorite. Beef stroke. This okay. is a common classic though, for sure. I feel like, uh, like we're go. Brady's wife. We're on like a date here. We're getting his, his, <laughs> gift, his best one. This one again, cooked perfectly by Indoor Jill. Much better than Neville. Ew, uh, I don't know. Is there enough water in this thing? Or over here looks a little dry. Does it? I might go with Lorenzo. I don't know, indoor Joe. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Hmm. That's I rich. Know. I like it. And I know why, because the second ingredient is sour cream, and you can taste it. Oh, you can. I love sour cream. You can taste it. You taste that really good. I'm actually, what I'm most surprised about, because I've had that one before, what I'm most surprised about is how much I like it on just a normal Thursday <laughs> in the office. I'm going two. I did not like it. Way too what? rich for me. Way too rich for me. I do not like it. Is this kind of real? I was very surprised on that. <laughs> what? This right. chicken alfredo is 10x better. I love, right. I love beef stroganoff, but I'm also giving it a lower score than I thought I was going to give it. Really? This is the one I was highly anticipated about. I've never had this one before. Give it a seven. It just... Whoa! I like it. Oh, God. Whoa! Like it. it was really good. It Don't make me feel crazy. <laughs> But I, I think like, it needed more creaminess to it. Like if it had the more cream, cream, more. It's, it's a, no, 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 like no, a no, 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 no,
it's really kind of dry. Oh. I don't know if like more water would do it. Because I both sour beer. cream and heavy cream are the number two and three ingredients. How is that dry? No, I just need like more of it. It's not, it just tastes kind of. I like it. I'm with Lorenzo. It's plenty rich enough. I want the richness. I just want more of the Let me have you a question though. Beef stroke, Mountain House versus Peak Refuel. What do you, where do you go? This one has so much more flavor. Mountain House all, I go Mountain House all the way. This one has way more flavor than the Mountain House one. Okay. I'm just saying, you might need to take the, the two of the same ones that they both make and just try them back to back. That'll be round three, because we'll have to go back to back pace. Yeah. This one. I don't know why we did that to ourselves. I, yeah. <laughs> Okay, up next, strawberry granola. We got a breakfast one in there. I've never been a fan of the breakfast ones. Like the real, like. Make it real breakfast. The like, real, yeah, granola. Yeah, like oatmeal yeah. Is there like milk in this thing? What is this? Um, it's cold. Is it supposed to be cold? Non fat powdered milk is the last ingredient. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna like this. You would like this. It's like a yogurt parfait. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't let the coldness affect it because it should be a lot harder than this. I think you want it to be cold. Maybe. That Southern California is coming out. <laughs> For sure. You like yogurt pepes at like Starbucks? No. It tastes just like, <laughs> no I don't. <laughs> I'm just gonna start this one off. Oh, funny you do that. I, I do think I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna be like, hey, where's my meat? Where's my, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm filling this. I don't think I could have this one as a dinner. No. But it's, breakfast, yeah, if you want to actually pack a bunch of these, but not a dinner item. Uh, I would agree. It's a luxury, not a necessity. Yep. It's mm -hmm. not giving you what you need, but on the mountain, you're cold or something, you're That's good. That, that tastes I'm good. To go. I'm not a breakfast eater on the mountain. Cause yeah. you sleep, you eat something real quick. I usually eat like a bar or like yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. a tortilla with peanut butter or something just real quick and go. I don't really see a need for this. I, I would agree with that. The, the, the consistency of the freeze dried fruit, now that it's like soggy, I did not like. That was horrible. It's the one interesting thing too, it's called strawberry granola. You know, looking at the ingredients, strawberry is the last item on the ingredients. Really? One. So if it's gonna be strawberry granola, I want you know more strawberries yeah. in here. For there are a lot of strawberries. I mean, I'm I just don't just like the consistency of the strawberries. That was they're weird. They're weird. Bro, I will tell you, last ingredient. Final remarks. In my opinion, super tasty. But I'm with Lorenzo. I don't know what need it really fits in. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Tasty for me though. I'm giving it a six. There we go. So I'm gonna score a four. Not real tasty. Did not like <laughs> the strawberries. <laughs> I'm not from Southern California. I'm not a big granola <laughs> fan. All right, I'm okay. interested in this one a lot. Bomb! Chicken, pesto, pasta. Porter's Here, favorite one let me just get my score ready. Oh gosh. Okay, bold. One interesting thing I note though, doesn't seem like there's as much food in here. There's not that much food. The like calories, this, is, though. this is pretty small. It's one of the higher calorie, yes, yeah, the highest calorie meal. Because of the five of these, right? Mmm! Gosh, this is so good. So good! <laughs> I love pesto though. You like you pesto? Pesto is good. Yeah. yeah, I do like pesto. And pesto is the first ingredient on this go round. Mmm! Mmm! This is the best freeze dried meal that I've ever had. 920 calories from one of those. Yeah, that's impressive for like the little bit of food that looks like is in there. And to go back through it, like chicken alfredo, 690. Oh, uh, okay, beef stroganoff, 810. Granola, we know it's gonna be a little less, 530. Oh, 920, and then sweet pork and rice, 750. That's a lot. 920 is a lot. You going for, you going for more? So good. <laughs> this one is like, I could have this. For day that, day, I mean, that was, that was pretty good, for sure. I've never had that one either. That is, that's pretty good. If you like pesto, guaranteed lock winner, winner chicken dinner. 10. Ten. Oh, Ten come minutes. on, man. Come on, Lorenzo. I'm letting you guys. Lorenzo, one. come on. Let's skew the results. Oh. Seven. Bro. Solid. Solid. It was very good. Okay, hold on. We're going to have a conversation about this. You're telling me that that 
is lower score than this. No, I gave that seven as well. I thought you gave this an eight. No, I gave it That is really good though. Because I like sour cream. I, I, I like You Mexican voted food. this shit. I like Mexican food. I like sour cream. Sour cream is the second ingredient. I could taste it. I liked it. Make me feel crazy. The guy gives it, gives it a two. Makes me feel crazy. This is disgusting. And you're definitely not hunting the next day here. Please. This makes me excited to get back to camp to eat this. Oh, man. This is really good. I kind of wish I don't know why seven's having a bad score. It's I, really good. I don't know why I didn't bring any of those. Mean, I'm bringing like 14 of those next time. They are so good. A lot, I, I add hot sauce to like everything. You can easily add it to beef stroganoff. I don't see how hot sauce would work in the pesto. This is tastier to you. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, that, that, that makes good. me feel crazy, it gives it a two. Here's it was this. terrible. It's going back in? I'm going back in. I'm gonna join you on that one. So good. I just want one more. So good. All right, last one boys, need it. Cleanse your palate at all, you should go right in. So you can just the smell right here. Mm. I'm a huge fan of chicken teriyaki, or like anything teriyaki. We have to be careful with Lorenzo's recommendation here, because he rec also recommended to me one time in Colorado the um, sweet pork mountain house, and it was disgusting. So I think Lorenzo just I, I'm a, has- I'm a fan. It kind of smells like a Thanksgiving dinner. Or you can smell that sugar, man. Mm. Oh, man, I don't know about this. What is this mush? I really like this one, though, when I was in Utah. Shredded pork. On that last- Shredded pork? Mm-hmm. On the last deer hunt in Utah, I did bring this one up there, and like I had so many spoonfuls, because there's a lot of food in yeah. there. So you actually like feel like you're eating a lot more? No. It's like you look at 117 grams of sugar. <laughs> that God. I don't think I consumed that in a whole week. That is so- well, Okay, what's- There's that, or the chicken alfredo pasta has- yeah, 33 man. grams of fat. There's 117 grams of sugar. Yeah, man. It's dinner and dessert. <laughs> Why is that a bad thing? Oh my gosh. Runza, we agree on a lot in life. Maybe food's just not it. Quattro, this is getting a four. Four? This is not good. This is not good. What's Runza's? Oh, seven. I thought you were going 10. Okay. No. It's, a, it's really good. And at times, it's exactly what you want on the mountain, but I'd never have had the beef stroganoff before. That one's my favorite. So right now we have a tie after going through the results of third and fourth place. Beef stroganoff and sweet pork and rice got exactly the same score. So we can't let that happen. We have to That's debate this a little bit. And well, let's put these in order. So these chicken, Chicken pesto, one. clear number one, right? One. This is clear number two, two. right? And then we got, and that's last clear place. last. So and then we got to decide the third and fourth. Well, we know where Lorenzo stands. He gave Beef Stroganoff a 10. This really good. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Beef Stroganoff as well. And just purely based off of what you get in the bag. Mm -hmm. You're getting a lot beef of Stroganoff is better. Quality food, more calories. More calories, less sugar. It's way yeah. better. I would agree as well. So yeah, I think that's an easy one. Beef stroganoff over sweet pork and rice. The sugar just, I can't do it. 117 grams, like how many grams is in like a cookie? Can we Google that? So you, so you got 117 grams. Can we go to the judges? We have them in here, don't we? Yeah. Look in there. Uh, one more to the one more to the Well, that's like the little. Yeah. All right, what do you guys think? How many grams of sugar is in, in these Oreos? The whole pack? Well, I mean, here comes. Uh, Come have a seat so we can see it. Oh my god. Oh, yes, yeah, so we're gonna be sick from what we just ate. What? This wait, what about it? This pack of Oreos has 18 grams of sugar. That has 117 grams yeah, of sugar. For sure. Why do they need that much sugar in that thing thing? Because it's good for you. That's a bunch That's of brown sugar. That's insane. Brown sugar glaze, here's what they call it. Sugar, brown sugar, molasses, <laughs> apple cider vinegar, butter, butter. I'd rather have the. I would definitely rather have the strawberry canola over that. I would. You would? No. It's a, this is come food. on, SoCal. This is food. This is fun. I mean, that's definitely fun, but holy cow! I mean, after going through all of this and the Mountain House one before, I kind of feel like there's a 50-50 ratio of taking Mountain Houses and taking Peaker Fields. Peaker Fields, I love it. Less water. We all know that. Some of the flavors are bomb. 
I'm always going to bring in biscuits and gravy. That's not changing. Yeah. Never. Yeah. What I'm interested in doing though, what I would like to do for my, what I like as far as taste goes, is the sweet pork and rice compared to the teriyaki chicken in Mountain House. Oh, yeah. Do like a sweet, sweet. I still, still he's got to wait and see how you feel tomorrow after we ate all these, Mike. Yeah, that's always a question. It was interesting though to try them right now because I know, but like, you know what last I'm time did I feel like that because of chili mac and beef or did I feel like that because of the breakfast one? Or eat because of me. Or five. because I ate all of every single bag. Yeah. yeah. So that is the wrap up of our freeze dried meal taste test, peak refuel edition. Porter's still gonna eat his number one favorite, so chicken good. pesto pasta. Um, yeah, basically right now we have first through last. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, definitely drop us comments down below what your favorite peak refuel is. Um, happy to do another one of these too, maybe compare exact things of like beef stroganoff. Peak we need refuel. to go we need to go back to back bites, mountain house, peak refuel. Yeah, that'd be really good video to do for our third one. But if you have any suggestions, let us know. We appreciate you guys checking out the video. As always, like and subscribe if you enjoy the content, and we'll have a bunch more of these coming your way soon.